Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. So what is everything about today? SpeedyB released the 04 Pro upgrade kit for their SpeedyB B35. And from my point of view, this makes this Cinewoop to one of the best, if not the best, 3.5 inch Cinewoop currently available. So I will tell you how to mount the kit properly. And I'm currently here in the field on one of my favorite spots here to check it out and you are with me. So let's get started. In the box you find several accessories to mount your OFO Pro to the B35. So we first start with mounting the OFO Pro air unit to the frame. This is made of aluminum so we have a good heat dissipation. So this will be just mounted with four screws to the chassis itself. And there are two shells for the camera. One is a spare. And we will fix this with four screws together. And you can see that you can change the angle of your camera just using the screws and yeah, the, the rails. There are silicone bumpers included to mount the camera shell to the aluminium chassis and you have to fiddle them through the aluminium cage and this is one of the parts that doesn't make a lot of fun but once this is done you just need to fiddle them also through the hooks from the plastic casing. But once this is done, you have a pretty good dampening for the camera itself, so you will not suffer from jello. Now it's time to remove the standoff from the accessory bags. What I really like about these BDB kits is that every bag is labeled, so you don't mess up the parts itself that you need. So you are just basically following the manual. And we are now connecting both of the standoffs with M2 screws. Once this is done, we just need to use some M3 screws to fix the aluminium frame to the chassis of the drone itself. So we are just mounting them on the ducts. I am not documenting the whole process of building the drone because this is shown in several other YouTube videos that are available and uh, beside of the O4 Pro upgrade kit from SpeedyB itself, the process is not really different at all. So I'm just soldering here the ESCs to the motors and connecting the AEO from SpeedyB. But this process is, I guess, straightforward if you are capable to build your own drone. Now we are coming to the interesting part. I purchased the Meteor LED kit for the B35. And this comes, of course, with the LED tube itself and a little PCB, which also includes a Bluetooth module to remote configure your flight controller with this BDB app, which is pretty nice if you have a flight controller that doesn't have an included Bluetooth module and you can also wire it up that way that uh, this module communicates with the flight controller so the Meteor kit shows the several states which Betaflight can display so like arming etc. So I would recommend to connect all five wires to your flight controller. So obviously you have the positive wire, the negative and a signal wire. This is a yellow one. So you can just put your flight controller in boot mode. And there are also two wires available which you can connect to a free specific UART port. So it's good when you have a flight controller with lots of UARTs if you are also using ELS or a GPS receiver. So we fiddle the wiring kit through the hole, which is <laughs> not that easy. Afterwards, we are just pushing it to the yeah, edge of the frame. And then there is this little TPU thingy 
which will just come on top of the PCB and is mounted with two screws. The next fun part of the drone building starts. You have to push the LED band through the frame. There's a little gap in the frame and yeah, you need to move it all along the whole body of the drone. This will take some time, but I think you will get it sorted. Now it's time to wire up the Meteor LED board to the chassis. So here we have the positive wire. We are just connecting this to a battery pin. And unfortunately I forgot to show you where I soldered the RX and TX wires to the UART port. And as you might see the yellow cable is for the boot pin and this is pretty small on the specific board. Now it's time to close everything and this wasn't that easy because I use a full size stack and if you use a smaller stack this should be easier. Now it's just time to put the remaining screws into the chassis so everything is nice and tight. I really like the extra carbon plate for the battery strap, so the battery strap is not in direct contact with the electronics, so this is kind of a nice idea from SpeedyB. And now it's time to mount the O4 Pro antennas. There are specific TPU mounts available in the kit, so we have to remove two screws on the back motors each. And afterwards we are using some longer screws to mount the antenna holders. Now we are just snap in the O4 Pro antennas in each of the holders and secure it with some specific screw which is also included in the kit. With the SpeedyB app you are now able to change the LED modes from the Meteor LED kit so you can also change the color of the LEDs or how they are lightening up. I am just showing you here some modes of it. And you can also use it to configure your flight controller itself, which I am not able to do because I'm using the current beta release of Betaflight, which is not supported from the app. Since I already had the B25, I was pretty happy that SpeedyB released this upgrade kit to this particular drone. Because the B25 is performing very, very well. It's one of my favorite birds if it comes to commercial shootings because it's very versatile, but something was always missing. And that was the capability to carry a full-size action cam like the Action 5 Pro, which I have in my inventory. And yeah, the 2.5-inch uh, whoop was simply not powerful enough to fit all my needs. This is the main reason why I bought this, but I was also interested how good it performs due to its 6S capabilities. So we have a sunny day here, days getting shorter, it's almost autumn and we will try this out. I have the B with the O4 Pro air unit and the Action 5. First of all, we will check if everything is working properly. I did my bench tests, I get a pretty decent flight in my backyard, but my backyard is by far not big enough for a proper testing, but actually it was everything was working and the uh, bench setup was also working. Maybe you remember the video of JB who is telling us to not use the motor tap while mounts are mounted on the motors and guess who figured it out the hard way? Yep, it was me. And I already messed up the nice yellow battery strap. Yeah, but this is everything that was going wrong during my setup. I also had some fitness. <laughs> yeah, I also had some issues with the fitting of all parts because I'm using a full size stack. So I'm using a Izido, I don't know if it was pronounced correctly, Izido no-name AliExpress ESC board and a SpeedyB F405V4. Uh, and yeah, let's check if I activated all features correctly. So let's go. 
Yeah, today I don't have my proper tripod with me, so you're just hanging from the tree, but I guess it's fine. I'm currently waiting that the GPS unit is getting some satellites. Uh, I can see this on my remote pretty decent with the FM2 toolbox. I'm not using the GPS which was recommended from the B from SpeedyB itself, but I guess it doesn't make a big difference. I just had to uh, 3D print a specific frame for it. Since this is my first outdoor flight with this one, I will try to be gentle. Yeah, this is a high pitch noise. Speedy bees wing slicing the sky. B through the fast heartbeat. It won't lie. Under sundowns go. Cruising speed is around 58 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that's definitely not a five inch. Decent. DJ proceeds it all. Cheap thrills, shine, selection, excore. But still, I feel like I own it all. Let's see if I can maneuver through this little forest without losing it. Be a hidden branch everywhere. I hit the bell out. Yeah, mates, uh, if I'm getting silent, I'm concentrated. Do not hit a tree. That was a pretty sloppy split, as. A branch. Oh, signal is getting low. I had to turn back.
already five minutes in the air. Not a single battery low warning sign. But I guess we are getting close to it. Had to get high. Okay, 100 kilometers per hour was the top speed, but the battery wasn't fresh at all. Yeah, you can do some acro style tricks with it, no worries. heard it my transmitter already told me that battery is getting low also had some OSD messages already <sighs> guess I had to take a look where it is Gotcha. Yeah, unfortunately the test seems to have ended already because the O4 camera cage is uh, secured with four little bumpers in the frame and yeah, three of them are lost now. And that's a pretty sad story because I wanted to try it out with uh, Action 5 also, if it performs well or not, but I guess I have to wait until they will be delivered because you have just one spare in the kit and I need three unfortunately. So maybe I can print something similar, but for now I'm grounded, to be fair. So nothing else to say here. I hope you still enjoyed the video and maybe I create a different one where we check this one out with the Action 5 on it. It flies pretty decent, but you notice the weight of the drone itself. So um, I think if you are just want to fly with, come on, if you just want to fly with an O4 air unit, the B25 is fair enough. But if you need the extra carriage capabilities, I guess this one is fine, but I need to find it out in the next video. So thank you so much if you watched the video until this point and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.